pleasant morning stroll by the banks of the Garavog River is extra special when the town is celebrating the return of Flá Chilna here into Sligo after a lapse of 23 years. Amongst the morning music makers are fiddle players Anne Rin and Emer Howley, Tim Collins on concertina and Anthony Quigney on flute. They're playing a set of jigs including Trip to Killarney. was Anthony, Tim, Emer and Anne, all from the Kilfenora Cayley Band with two jigs there. We heard the visit to Ireland and the trip to Killarney. OK, let's pop across town and see what Evie's up to. Thank you, John. Well, I bet you've never heard of a Baron orchestra before. And here in the streets of Sligo, for the first time, we have one. Junior Davy, tell me, where did this band come from? Well, it kind of originated even from uh, the Coleman Baron School in Virgin. These are all pupils of the Coleman Baron School. And we decided for the flag hall this year in Sligo that we put 16 of the best foreign players from Sligo together and show the people what we're made of. Lovely. And these are all young Baron players They as are well. indeed far younger than me, from the ages of 9 up to 17 years of age. entertainment from the Gertrude Baron Orchestra. Well, there's not a sign of a bow on here. It's a piano accordion, flute and harmonica combination from Mick Foster, Siobhan Nicomroyne and Noel Battle. They're playing two reels, Mulhairs and Miss Johnsons.
Lovely, lovely, light and airy and very, very dainty. Thank you very much, Mick and Siobhan and all. How, how important is it for you now, Mick, to step back out of showbiz every now and then and come back to the flag hall and back to your roots? Um, back to playing real music. And, uh, you know, when, when you get on a bit, if you, if you did play reels or jigs, you know, the fingers yeah. that start to seize up at, at, at 66, they're not just as lively as they were at 26, but right. you're looking, we'll go down and fight. <laughs> good man, good man. Beside you there now is a woman from Limerick who has taught more than she cares to remember, right? So, Siobhan, great to meet you again. Uh, everywhere I go, people talk about the volume of work that you've put into the flat, not just this year, but over the years with the age. It must be a labour of love, is it? Well, it is. I mean, I was like so many other people. I just came up totally through the voluntary sector, one of these people that... Um, came I suppose to notice because like so many else people we just give because we get so much back ourselves from courses and um, Scalacia this year in Sligo was a phenomenal success we had upwards of 700 students but it's not just the students it's their families and their friends that come with them. They've spent hours practicing, preparing and rehearsing for this weekend. We're talking about the thousands of musicians who've qualified from the county and regional finals to compete for all Ireland titles, like those in the duets competition. We're watching Neve and Rory Howell from County Down on Concertina and Pipes, taking third place in the under 18s duets competition. There's always a great variety in the choice of instruments, and this time it's a banjo and button accordion from Kieran Owens and John McCann, taking second place for County Fermanagh. and also hoping to impress the judges with another combination of instruments, this time concertina and fiddle, our Waterford pair, Claren Mannion and Sarah O'Gorman. Lovely playing from a talented Waterford pair, keeping up the very high standard in the competition. <laughs> Clara Mannion and Sarah O'Gorman were unanimous winners with the adjudicators and the audience. Waterford champions, Munster champions, and now proudly bringing the All Ireland Trophy back to their cultist branch, Craig Nagumra. One of the very many initiatives put on at the Sligo Fla was Fela Shroj in the Fela, the Peace Carnival. The Mardi Gras style parade, organised with the help of Arcana Events Group from Galway, provided ideal entertainment for so many visiting families. A big part of the success of the Sligo Fla was the strong community involvement, and this again was obvious at the Peace Carnival, with so many County Sligo community and youth groups involved. <laughs> And as the parade splashed the streets with colour outside, back indoors, one of the funkiest bands in town were doing their thing. They're from Sligo, they're called Moxie, and this tune is called Moloch Moore. <laughs> 